So this is going to be a quick guide on how to submit a step one application for the ERC Accelerator. So the first thing you're going to do is you go to this YouTube channel to the description and you're going to look for the link called Next Deadline. This is where I'm always going to update the submission links. You click on this link and then it's going to open the website resp.com and it's going to be ERC Accelerator updates. You scroll down a little bit and you're going to find the submission link. So obviously step one, submission link for the ERC Accelerator, this is here. Now you click this one. Now you're going to land in the EU's funding and tenders portal. This is where all the submissions and the project overview and management and so on is going to happen. Then you're going to scroll down and there's going to be start submission. You're going to click the circle here and then you're going to start submission. It's going to ask you, are you sure? You're going to say, okay. And then the next thing you're going to do is you have to log in. Okay, I've now logged in with my account. If you don't have an account, of course, you have to create an account. But generally speaking, if you have an account, then you just log in. The account creation is quite simple. Then you're going to be on the submission page. So what you're seeing now is a very typical submission page. You see where you are, you log in, topic selection, create proposal, and so on. On the left, there's quite a few important details. So you have 90 days left until closure. This is actually irrelevant because the step one is always open. So it's basically it just gives you the next New Year's basically. So this doesn't matter. Then on the left, you can see, okay, this is EAC Accelerator step one. And you can see here a very important link, which is download part B templates. These are the official proposal templates. So I always recommend to download them, check if there have been any changes. I'm clicking it now and it's going to download a zip file. So the next thing you have to select is your company. A PIC is a participant identification code. So every company that is going to apply needs to have a PIC. I'm not going to cover how to create one. If you Google it, it's quite simple. But if you already have one and this is associated with your name, you can just click the name. Otherwise, you can search for the company. It's going to search the entire register. But just search for your company and then select it. And then you can scroll down and then you can say, okay, I am the main contact. You can leave it as is. The acronym of the proposal and the short summary, you should have already written it separately and you can just copy paste it in here. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to add a placeholder just for the purpose of this video. So I'm just going to add whatever and then I'm going to click save and go to the next step. It's going to again ask me yes okay the organization is going to be notified and it's going to ask you for more consent you can just click ok if you agree with it now we have created a draft for the draft proposal whatever and we can just say continue with this proposal and now i can see it's going to give all of the details this is all all right i am the main contact person this is my company so i can now click save and go to the next step now there are only two things you have to do very simple Part A, this is an online form. I'm going to go through this in a bit. Part B, this is the proposal. So everything you know as the proposal is part B. This is what you have to upload. This is what you should have prepared separately. For example, using the ESC Accelerator starter pack that I created. And the part A is the online form. So let's start with the online form with the part A. Now you have to click edit forms. Okay, so you can see there's a table of contents, general information. So you have to go through a few things. You're just going to scroll down and you can see general information. So you first click on this show on the general information part. And now we can see this is the acronym, proposal title. I'm just going to add a placeholder again. And then for the month, we can do 24. Free keywords, this is optional. This is for the selection of the evaluators. And then this is quite important. Now we have the keywords that we're actually going to use. You have to select three different keywords from a variety of different industries. So there's a lot of nuance on how to select these keywords. But generally speaking, ask yourself which background do you want evaluators to have? So the evaluators who are going to be most impressed by this proposal, which background do you want them to have? For example, I'm now going to pick health and then I'm just going to click add and then I'm going to switch to, let's say, gene therapy. I click add again. You can see now we already have two. And now I can maybe go to whatever education and culture and then I can pick social media media and click add again. And now I've selected three different keywords. This is fine. And then the abstract, again, this is a placeholder. You have to add the correct abstract. And then has this proposal been submitted before? If you are doing a resubmission and you have already submitted something before, then you can say yes. And then you add the proposal number of your previously rejected proposal. Otherwise I can just say no, since this is my first time. And then there's a lot of consent. If you agree with it, you just check it all and then you basically accept it. And then what I always recommend you do is you always click on the top here on save form. 
because this form is quite slow and you don't want to lose any data, you don't want to repeat a step. Always click save form and then you can see it's saving here very slowly. And once it has saved this part, you're going to jump to the next section. Okay, so now it's saved. I'm going to jump to participants and contacts. And now here I can see my company and I'm going to click on show participants details. And then here's the address. So this is all data already entered before. But generally speaking, you can always say the address is always the same, which department is going to be involved. I usually just go with management. It's usually quite clean. Most startups don't have departments. So if you just say management, this is fine. If you actually get the funding, then this makes it easier. And then the title, you can say Mr. or Doctor. And then you can say, okay, the CEO is a man. You have the option woman, man, non-binary. And then you can fill in the data, CEO, management. And you can always say the address is the same as the proposing organization. So you don't have to always re-enter the same address. And then again, you have to click save. And then you go to the budget part. So here we're just talking about the grant budget. So I'm going to go for two and a half million. Fun fact, most companies actually go for the maximum amount. So this is perfectly fine. And then you click save again. And now let's see if we made any mistakes. No, there are no mistakes. Sometimes if you missed something, if you didn't fill in anything, then it's going to say, hey, there's a mistake. You have to go back. And then you have to go back to that particular section. But we are good now. We click save and exit. And now we're going to go back to the submission window we had before. So this was part A. So now we're done with part A. Again, I'm only showing you how to submit the proposal, not how to write the proposal. If you want to know how to write it, get the ESC Accelerator Startup Pack, link in the description. But this was part A. Now we have to take care of part B. And now all we need to do is upload the documents and then we just submit. So you can see part B, this is the main proposal. So the 12 page PDF proposal, this is what they call part B. They could actually improve the description, but this is part B. So now all you need to do is upload it. I got some nice dummy files prepared for that. So you got a consent document as well. This is a spreadsheet. I got another dummy file and then the pitch deck as well. So now we got all the documents uploaded and you can see here the video is a little bit special this is because they had to integrate it because they couldn't handle large video uploads they only know document uploads but they made it work so now mp4 file is usually a good idea more information on the file formats and how to create these documents again ESC accelerator starter pack link in the description but this is it I can now press submit and then it's done everything is complete all the documents are uploaded I submit and then it's up for review